Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make uh, a copycat version of Crackle Barrel's hash brown casserole. If we ever get to go eat at Crackle Barrel, my daughter will like order double portions of it and my son will order a triple portion with his meal and he eats it all too. So anyway, let's get started. I have a 9 by 13 baking dish that I did lightly butter around the edges to uh, make cleanup easy. Now we're going to start off with two cups of shredded Colby cheese. Yeah, Crackle Barrel uses Colby cheese. Now on my channel I have another version of a hash brown casserole that I make that I just use butter, sour cream, and cheddar cheese, and that's real good too. And then I'm gonna add one 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of melted butter that's a half of a stick of butter. And I'm going to add a very, very small minced onion. I did mince it in my little food processor. Or you can chop it real fine. I'd rather have it chopped real fine so you don't, I don't bite into big old chunks of onion. Now, I guess y'all know what's coming next because I added in everything pretty much that I make. You know, Crackle Barrel don't do this, but I'm going to just to make it pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flakes and salt and pepper to taste. Now, you're not going to need much salt because your cheese is salty and your soup is salty. So you might want to under salt it so you don't have too much salt. I'm just putting in a pinch. Mix this up just a little bit. Now I'm using a one pound bag, which is 26 ounces of the shredded hash browns that I have. Uh, I've let it sit on my counter for about three hours to let it thaw. Because thawed are better than frozen. It'll cook better. Now we want to mix this up real good. So when I get it mixed up, I'll be back. Okay, I put it in my pan. And um, now I'm going to put it in my preheated 350 degree oven. And you want to bake it around 45, 50, 55 minutes or until it's done, it's bubbly, it's crusty on the edges and everything. And uh, then when it gets done, I'll be back. Okay, I just took my hash brown casserole out of the oven. I let mine cook for 50 minutes at 350 degrees. And I took a little taste out of the center of it to make sure that the potatoes were soft. So now we're going to let this rest. I'm just going to cover it and we're going to let it rest for about 15 or 20 minutes. You don't have to do that, but it's better if you do to let it set and it'll continue to cook a little bit and everything and it'll just be a whole lot better. And then I'll be back in a minute to try it. Okay, everything's ready. I made me some uh, mixed beans, which is pinto beans and the uh, northern beans. Because when I go to Crackle Barrel, I like to get their bowl of beans and some hash brown casserole. And I love their biscuits. I wished I could make my biscuits like theirs. They're so soft and tender and so good. Or either I'll get me a vegetable plate, but it's going to have beans, and it's going to have hash brown casserole on it. So, and y'all know I'm not much of a meat eater. It's pretty darn close. 
Very good. Very good. My daughter made this um, the other night, and it was very good. I hope you enjoy.